Okay. So in top, the vault. Top secret. Um, we're going to do some, so probably no trivia thing tonight. We'll do some questions in the chat. Um, also, phone things. I, I, we, we, had, we had a busy day. Okay. Top secret. Uh, what are these? These are some more upcoming SEMAs. Some of them are revisions. So uh, some of these like the SI-21, uh, the SGP-30, and the VL-6180. These are sensors that we already have in the shop. And I'm kind of, I'm really liking this, you know, STEM QT slash quick layout. You know, one inch by 0.7 inch. It's nice and compact. It's got plenty of mounting holes, and they're in the same location. It's got these plug-and-play sensors. It's got the breakouts at the bottom. Um, it's just really handy to have everything kind of have the same components and the same layout. It also makes my life a lot easier for when I do the manufacturing design because I know, like, it's kind of all the same. I don't get to, like, reuse stencils necessarily. Well, sometimes I do. Uh, but I do like that um, everything's kind of the same size. And so um, I, we spun a bunch of our old sensors. So as we sell through and we get out of them and, and test these new ones, we'll update them to um, use this new layout. Okay, we're gonna show a very short video, 53 seconds. I think you did an excellent job doing machine learning with Teachable Machine. Are you wearing a hoodie or not a hoodie? And then- It's my 1984 hoodie too, so it's, it's in style. Can you tell a microcontroller what to do based on that information? So here we go. What is this? This is Machine Learning Monday. I'm using Teachable Machine to train up some images of me wearing a hoodie, and then some images of me not wearing a hoodie, and then me missing. And I trained a model and you can see the model here. I have a hoodie on. It says I've got a hoodie at the bottom here. Yeah. And then I exported the model. So there you go. Exported it to TensorFlow.js. And then I've put it in um, this P5 sketch that will use Web USB to connect to a Circuit Playground Express. Yeah, so you're going to connect hardware. Yeah, and then you can see the Web USB sends data. So if I'm wearing a hoodie, it's yellow. If I'm not wearing a hoodie, it goes purple. So I'm connecting hardware to machine learning using Teachable Machine. All right, Machine Learning Monday. Hoodie, no hoodie. Hoodie, no hoodie. Hoodie, no hoodie. All right, and then uh, by popular demand, uh, we made a little 3D rendering of Clue, and we spun it around, put some music to it, so you can watch this. Folks in the community already started putting together charts comparing Microbit to the Adafruit Clue. Adafruit Clue is way different. However, it does have something in common. It has that nice connector, so there are some Microbit compatible accessories that'll work with it. We got some cases coming out soon. This is for Pi Badge, for Pi Gamer, for Edge Badge. You'll be seeing those soon. And uh, with that, Lady Ada is. Uh, Top secret things I have. Get back in the vault. No. Wait. The vault's oh, not that's closing. Oh, right. I have my... I, There's I, something very... Like, right at the second, you throw my hat through and then go through, like Indiana Jones. Okay. Um, what do you got? Um, I got some PCBs of Artur's uh, Feather, the M7-1011. This is the um, uh, NXP RT-1011 feather chip. It's got SD card slot on the bottom. It's double-sided. It's a four-layer board. Right before Chinese New Year, I got some PCBs ordered and got them in time. So I might be putting this together in the next couple of days. I think this would be kind of cool uh, to try out, to try out this uh, feather design. It's got uh, memory for Circuit Python and, of course, storing the program. It's got a uh, stomach QT connector, USB-C, battery power, and this uh, gigantic 80-pin uh, QFP RT-1011. So very exciting, 500 megahertz chips. We'll see what can this thing do. Right. Now get back in the vault. Yeah, well I was trying to close the vault door and that was like I stuck, know. it was a witch. Okay.